Hi everybody, this is Everyday Commentary, and this is a video overview of this knife. And this knife is a Michael Zeba S1. Um, I reached out to Michael, and he confirmed that this knife was in fact uh, made by him, custom made. Uh, he cut all the parts on CNC, and he did the grinding himself. Um, this is a very, very small knife, especially for a custom knife, which tend to run larger than productive knives. As you can see, it's right near the same size as the Spyderco Dragonfly. Um, one weird thing about this knife, look how long that pocket clip is. That pocket clip is crazy long. Um, it also turns up at the end, but we'll get to that in a second. So let me go through and talk a little bit about what the knife is. So as you can tell, this knife is a frame lock flipper. Uh, it has a compound grind. So there's a uh, like a convex grind out here and then a really, really thin hollow grind here. You can see this knife also has a bit of a harpoon tip, which I'm not thrilled about. I don't really care. I mean, I guess it looks more aggressive, but I don't really buy knives for that reason. You can see this is sort of a dark stone washed uh, titanium frame lock. Um, there is a, an orange stippled backspacer. And then there is this extremely long blind clip. As you can tell, there's no uh, attachment hardware here. The attachment point is actually inside the knife. If you can see it right there, that little white blip is the, the tip of a screw. And it just screws in that way and sinks up under the handle. Um, overall, I like the knife quite a bit. It's a small knife, which I, I prefer. Um, it flips very well, despite being a small knife. Uh, there are a couple places where I'm not super thrilled, and we'll go through that. Um, so the first thing you can tell is that unlike a lot of knives that are frame lock flippers, this knife is just a jam it in kind of dislodge. So you jam your finger in and it's just hope you grab something and push it over. Now you can compare that with something like this knife, which is uh, the Nast Drop Jet. You can see there's a little bit of a, 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 a little bit of the other side sticking out there and it makes it much easier to dis disengage the lock. Uh, a couple other things that I'm not super thrilled about. Um, the, not only is the clip really long, but the clip is really pointy. And it's that point right there that just creates a crazy hot spot because it's right under where your index finger went. So if you have your index finger in the index notch, it's going to hit the fat pad on this first digit here all the time. And so if you're doing some, some work, you know, and I, I, I like that that, that uh, harpoon for that. You're gonna get a hot spot there, but you're also gonna get a hot spot right here. As you can see, this is a really, really sharp clip, a uh, really sharp tip on the flipper tab. And you wanna compare that to another flipper tab. Look at that one. That is how you do it. Um, and so that is tough. These two things together are really tough. You kinda have to lace your finger in between them, but even then you're gonna almost always hit it. Um, so those three points, literally two points here, one and two, and then the third metaphorical point is the fact that this is a little more difficult to disengage than it needs to be. Um, I like the look of the knife. I think the clip is a little too long. You know what the strange thing is, if this clip was a little bit shorter, like if it was right here, it would solve both the, the odd proportions issue and it would get rid of this hot spot by pulling it back out of the way of the path of your index finger. That would be tremendously helpful. Um, the blade steel, in case I didn't mention it, is M390, which is a really good blade steel. Um, the grind here is spectacular. I mean, look at that. That's just crazy cool. I love that grind. Uh, well, I like the way that grind looks. I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be to sharpen. As you can see, there's actually a point here. Uh, and the convex edge and the, the hollow, uh, or runway, the straightaway here. Those two things are, are actually quite useful. I'm able to, you know, do some, some pressing cuts here and not have to worry about chipping and do some, you know, pull through of slicing cuts right here. And that's pretty, that's pretty nice. Um, but not sure if it's gonna be worth it for all the maintenance this is gonna require. Um, but in terms of pretty, that's, that's pretty hard to beat. I mean, that's a gorgeous grind there. Look at that. Just catches the light the right way. There's a really prominent grinder satin grind, uh, finish to it, so it just looks good. And you can see, it's pretty darn symmetrical. So in terms of execution, this is a very well executed knife. Um, if you don't know, Zeb is a he produces knives in Brooklyn, New York, so it's always interesting. One thing that's strange is that you can kind of see the mill marks here on the titanium, 
And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. It kind of looks like a, you know, paintbrush finish. But this is an overview of the Michael Zeba S1. Look for a review on my website.